Welcome back friends uh, and in this video I am going to talk about a very very important and interesting experiment uh, which helped the scientists to identify that uh, in DNA transformation one uh, strand is uptaken and another strand is chewed out by the nucleus enzyme. Now how can we come to establish this kind of theory? Uh, for example, for, for understanding this, we have to set up an experiment. Now for this experiment, what we can do, we are having a cell which is having its genomic DNA and we are having some short segment of DNA that is to be uptaken by those cells. Now we mix uh, those uh, cell with those uh, short segment of DNA into a particular solution and uh, those DNAs, those sh short fragment of DNAs that are present in the environment uh, and that are to be uptaken are, the, the, are containing the genes for arginine production and uh, arginine production. Okay, so the genes that are present in this short segment of DNAs can produce arginine. So that's why they are called the arginine plus genes or arginine plus containing DNAs. Okay, now in the step two of the experiment what we establish is the different, uh, we, we uh, need to go through the experiment in different time levels. For example, in this case, uh, we, we uh, treat the mixture of this DN, uh, DNA containing cell and the short segment of DNA with DNAs at various times. Okay. For example, we put them together, we give slight sonication, as a result they can, uh, it will increase the uptake ability of the DNA for, for any cell. So we set some time, for example, for 2 minutes, then, uh, sorry, for 2 minutes, suppose for 3 minutes, sorry for two minutes for five minutes for example my mouse is uh, really really horrible now and last for ten minutes okay so for example we are going through these three steps uh, or three time limits okay in the very first uh, step we are uh, we have gone through the two minute interval and in this two minute interval uh, this is insufficient for uptaking any uh, part of the DNA okay so we can see there's no uptake and we'll see it later by looking at the result and for the five minute duration uh, it will take some of the DNA for the 10 minute it will take some of the DNA now let us move on to the step 3 in the step 3 what we have done we are just taking the DNA uh, we, are, we are taking the extract of the DNA from this recipient the, the recipient cells are arginine negative because they cannot produce any arginine because they are lacking the gene of producing arginine amino acid okay but the DNA segment are uh, having the genes for production of the arginine so if any of the cell can uptake the those short segment of DNA it can eventually produce arginine okay so that is the basic theory of all these things okay now here we can see if we extract uh, uh, if we take the extract from the cell and give it to another bacterial cell and then finally look for whether the bacterial cell can produce arginine or not we can have a fairly conclusion of what is going on now in this case uh, right after uh, the extraction so we have taken an extract from this and we add into some uh, other bacterial cell now what are these these are the other type of bacterial cell okay so don't confuse with this previous picture so these are the type of bacterial cell uh, and these are totally different type of bacterial cell all the cells are totally different than the previous one okay the previous cells I give the strain uh, as green so these are the green strain uh, of so for, for example they are the same strain but they are different bacteria they are not at all the same bacteria okay so uh, what we have done we are just taking up taking this DNA from uh, or extracting the DNA and uh, and inject it into another cell not injection we are just giving uh, to this uh, we just putting this DNA uh, this method these cells onto this extract for looking whether they are producing any arginine or not when the very first case uh, for those bacteria which we give the two minute as interval time cannot produce any arginine amino acid that means they are unable to transform they are unable to uptake the DNA okay and uh, the result the, the result can be conclusive like that that this two minute interval is not sufficient time for uptaking any amount of DNA okay so that will be the conclusion we have gone through this now in the, for the second uh, time interval which is a five minute we have uptaking uh, the extract and providing it to another bacteria and what we will see in this case no arginine transformant so again they cannot produce any arginine uh, but we give fairly or moderate uh, time which is a five minute time for doing this uh, but still they are unable to do that but uh, another very important assumption from this place is that uh, if we take uh, this uh, this DNA, if we, if we take the extract and if we look for the extract we can see exactly the extract is containing uh, the single stranded DNA okay so that is a very important finding because in previous case when you take the extract from the cell and add it to another cell that extract is not having any sign of DNA 
that means the dna can is not at all uptaken by the mother bacteria in this case but in the second case in the, uh, the in the extract we are we are having or uh, we found uh, the single stranded dna that means the mother cell is able to uptake the single strand of the dna but it is unable to re, uh, transform this second uh, generation of bacteria okay because of uh, the single stranded dna is not incorporated in the bacterial genome because the recombination event was blocked which is a very important step of establishing the external dna inside the bacterial genome right so that process is blocked but the dna was present in that case that means we have a single stranded dna but the single stranded dna is unable to do that so we do not have any arginine transform and that's the conclusion but the third step what we are looking at we we'll give 10, 10 minutes for example the time now we've taken the uh, extracts from here and we uh, sorry taken the extract from here and, and inject into uh, the second generation or the red generation in this case and what we've seen we have seen the arginine plus transformance as a growth so what will be the conclusion in this case is that we have given enough time for the dna to be uptaken as well as we give the time enough for the recombination of the single stranded dna with the genomic dna so this recombination events give uh, makes them really stable to be transferred from one generation to another generation and to be transferred from one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell so when you take the extract if we look for the extract we have seen there are dnas and the dna is not single stranded it is a double stranded dna right so that means uh, with the help of different time intervals we can see so in first case there is a insufficient time for the double strand dna to bind in the second case a single stranded dna is uptaken in the third case the double stranded dna that means we can conclude that there is a time uh, gap or that there is a time consuming events in each steps for for doing this transformation event so very first step the double stranded dna which is to be uptaken will attach to the bacterial cell then one strand is chewed up and one strand is uptaken but the one strand or the single stranded dna which is uptaken is unable to transform a bacteria other uh, unless uh, it is recombined with the bacterial genome and the third step when it give enough time then the bacterial single stranded dna which is uptaken is incorporated with the bacterial genome and a result of this incorporation or result of this recombination uh, of this uh, uptaken dna segment and the bacterial genome uh, it can transform the bacterial cell okay so that is a very good conclusion and that is a very very well designed experiment to tell us uh, the story about whole processes of DNA transformation okay that's it and i hope it will help you thank you